All right, guys, now that you've sterilized your lab bench and you've got your soybean seeds in a clean conical tube, you need to cover them uh, in the 1% bleach solution that you have. So as you can see, you are pouring out the bleach solution. Uh, you just go with an approximate volume, but you want your seeds to be covered. From there, you invert the bleach solution containing your seeds several times. It's important to not shake them because the soybean seeds are fragile and they can break if you get too violent with it. So for this demonstration, we're not gonna wait as long, but you wanna let the sample stand for five minutes. So just take out the stopwatch app on your phone or if your teacher has a stopwatch, just use that. So once the five minutes are up, you can take a discard beaker or just some, some container to discard your bleach solution. This does not have to be sterile, you're just disposing of the waste product. Okay guys, so now that you've poured off the excess bleach solution, it's time to add the H2O2 or hydrogen peroxide 2% solution. So like the bleach, you want to cover your seeds, just be approximate with the volume and then same as before, you invert it several times. Not too rough, be gentle with them. And now you're going to let this sample stand on the lab bench for 30 minutes. Uh, one thing to note, this is a good time to go ahead and prepare your soil slurries. Uh, for this demonstration, like I said earlier, we're going to keep moving. So from this step, Zach is going to pour off the excess H2O2 solution. You can pour into the same container again. Don't pour your seeds out. One little trick you can use is just use the cap of the conical at an angle to just let the solution run off, but keep your seeds in the tube. Okay guys, now that you've poured off the excess hydrogen peroxide solution, it's time to rinse your seeds using sterile water. As you can see, uh, you're going for coverage here. You want your seeds to be fully submerged, same as the previous steps. Uh, again, you want to invert the seeds gently, don't shake. You don't want the seeds to crack. Now you're going to do this rinse four times and each time you rinse you want to let the seeds sit for approximately five minutes in the sterile water. At the end of five minutes you are going to discard the water and repeat the step. All right and be careful not to let your seeds fall out. Once the water is gone you're going to add the water again and repeat the sample inversion. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to prepare the soil slurry. You're going to start by adding 5 milliliters of soil to your fresh conical tube. So that's basically to the bottom line. We're going to show you the tapping method, just pouring it into the conical tube straight, or you could use the spoon that you're provided. So once you're done with that, you're going to cap off the two conical tubes. And next you want to add about 25 milliliters of sterile water to your new conical tube. So you want to place the cap back on that and tilt a couple times to mix up the soil and the water. Once you thoroughly mix it, you'll let it sit for about five minutes and let the soil settle back down to the bottom. Okay, now that most of the soil is settled back down to the bottom, you'll want to pour the water slurry over top of your soybeans. So you'll want to add most of the liquid from the top of the slurry into the conical tube.
after that, you just want to recap it and invert it a couple times, making sure that the seeds are fully covered. And now you'll let that sit for 15 minutes and you're ready for the next step. Okay guys, so now we're going to plant our seeds. The first step into doing this is acquiring a set of metal tweezers. You want ones that have thick ends on these so it's easier to grab your seeds and there's a less chance of you damaging them. Uh, I believe you all have Bunsen burners. In our lab we have an ethanol lamp. So I'm going to show you how to light that and sterilize the tweezers. First, we have 100% ethanol and what we're going to do is, actually first step would be to light this guy. lamp is lit. It's important whenever you're working with an open flame to have something nearby that can extinguish it very quickly. Um, another, another thing to note, don't have anything flammable near you. Uh, don't let the ethanol spill. Be very careful of that. So real quick, I'll show you what to do. Dip the tweezers in the ethanol to a sufficient length. Get all of that right there. And next, move your fingers back and move the tweezers over the flame. You should see something cool like that. Be careful, the tweezers are extremely hot. Make sure they're cool. Uh, since we are only using one sample, I can go ahead and extinguish this flame. Move that to the side. Using your sterilized tweezers, you're going to take your Leonard jar with the soil on top and you're going to break it up this is just going to make it easier for you guys to plant in just a second here so get a nice loose soil mixture here and from here you're going to take the conical tube that has your seeds and your liquid soil slurry in it and one by one, you're going to transfer three seeds from the conical into the Leonard jar. And you're going to plant these guys about half an inch below the surface. And then you can kind of use your tweezers to cover up that seed. And remember where you put it because you don't want them stacked on top of each other, obviously. Okay, and so you just go right back in, collect a seed, and plant that sucker. Last one. One thing to notice is when you're bringing these seeds out you kind of want to give them a quick once over and make sure that you haven't got any cracks or the seed is not damaged in any way this one looks good go ahead and plant it do a quick once over make sure that all your seeds are planted correctly put your tweezers to the side you can discard your excess seeds, you don't need them anymore. And next, what you're going to do is put a clear covering on top of the Leonard jar because the seeds need to know which direction to grow. And so the seeds, the plant will follow the path towards the light. And that's it.